We're joined in the media center by our top fuel winner here at the Arizona Nationals 2022 Camping World Drag Racing Series at Wild Horse Pass Motorsports Park. Mike Salinas picked up the victory over Clay Milliken in the final round. Mike with a tremendous day of racing during the off season. Mike was one of the big stories as his tuner from 2021 moved on. Mike hired Rob Flynn and has delivered a victory just two races in. Defeating Jim Maroney in the first round, Sean Langdon in the second round, the four-time and consecutive world champion Steve Torrance in the semis, and then Clay Milliken in the final round. Mike, how meaningful is this win given all the change that you experienced in the offseason? You know, we went we went through quite a bit. Um, you know, try to get the right synergy. I have the same crew, which is great. Um, it, it's this racing. This NHRA racing, it's a tough game. It's a tough game, and if you don't have all the parts and pieces and the people in place, um, you're not gonna you're not gonna do very well. And then the nice part about what we did was we changed crew chiefs. Um, Rob's a brilliant man, very smart, very calm, relaxed, calculated. Um, he told me he'll see me in the final. He knows. He knows the way this car's running. Um, you look at our runs, 69, 69. I mean, it was pretty crazy. Um, and honestly. It's uh, I, I was I was blown away because um, it's running so good, didn't hurt one part, nothing, and it's the bearings are like brand new still. It, it's amazing, good stuff, real good stuff. All right, let's open it up to members of the media. Questions for our top fuel winner, Mike Salinas, Josh from NHRA. Mike, you go back to last year. You know, a heck of a run to finish the year, win Bristol, go to the final at, at Vegas, and. Now right back at, in the winter circle yet again. Can you speak to how much you're enjoying kind of this this run and picking up where you left off with all those changes? You know, um, we, we were a little worried about if this would happen, um, but we came to testing, and testing blew us away. We all looked at each other and we we're like, "Whoa, I think we got it." You know, and it was just it, we made run after run just to solidify what we were doing, and you know, it just this is a tough game. Um, the crew chief, all the guys that are involved in this. Um, you know, and, and look, we got a shining star, we got a future star coming, Aaron Kate. He's, he was our car chief. He was Brittany's car chief. And, you know, he's just, this guy is amazing. And and Rob is taking him under his wing and teaching him, and uh, he's doing a great job. You know, um, I'm very confident where we're going and what we're doing. I know we can run with these guys, and I know we can compete with them, and uh, I know we can beat them. So Burgess, National Director. You're a very demanding in your business, personal life, everything. Can you talk about the search for the crew chief and how you landed on Rob Flynn? Um, well, when we, Alan and I talked about when his departure was coming, and so it was very hard to put somebody to take his place because most of the people would have been intimidated, and they were intimidated, to take his place. Um, you know, he's a great crew chief, um, taught us a lot of good things. Um, you know, and we can carry this on. I mean, he did it with Torrance, did it with Brittany, and he did it with me. So all we have to do is continue to follow what we know and what we learn from him, tweak here and there, and uh, it becomes our stuff now. You know, it becomes our way of running it. Not Alan and Brian's, it's ours now. And uh, this shows that we know how to do it. And that's the nice part about what we're doing. Devin Henry, Sports 68Z, Mike, big congrats. And with all the emotion that you showed up, obviously it's a new team new crew chief, other pieces, but down there on the stage you said, this year is different. Are there any other reasons why this year is different to you? You know, a little bit more meaningful. You know, we've been working so hard, hard, hard. We work hard all the time, but good fortune, you have to earn it. And it's, and it's I'm telling you guys, man, it's hard. This stuff is hard, but uh, what the guys we have, I think we're going to be good, and uh, you know, it's, I, I really don't get emotional, but I'm telling you, these guys, they got something special. It's really kind of cool, and I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. Lee Craft, Monday Morning Racer, congratulations, Mike. Thank you. You drove exceptionally well. I know you don't listen to the haters, but at the end of the day, you leave, you go home. Is there a sense of accomplishment for yourself that you drove exceptionally in this event and got the win? Yeah, no, we, we um, just chip away at it, chip away at it. We, we always just keep moving. We don't stop. Um, you know, the name on the race car, the name on our truck, Scrappers, is the reason why. You know, and look, we are allowed to have feelings and emotions, but uh, 
I'm telling you, this this is uh, this sport is amazing. You work hard for it. Thanks, Mike Jack, CycleDrag.com. Got to ask you here. Uh, you do this as a total family effort. To, to see your wife, your daughters going nuts for you on the starting line, to be right there with you every step of the way, what's that mean to you? For us, it's a family deal. Um, and you know what? Gianna's, Gianna's uh, gonna be out back again racing. Jasmine will be out racing. And you guys have seen what our some family has gone through, some of the ups and downs. Um, but I'm telling you, uh, it's, it's for us, it's family. That's all it is. I mean, and you know what? We've embraced the NHRA family, other race families. The, the, I mean, it's the fans. I mean, I don't know what happened, but we became popular overnight. And it's kind of, <laughs> it blew me away. I mean, this, Jen, you know, Janae, my youngest daughter, took over our social media. We got 12 or 13 million hits on a little video. And just like, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I don't know what she's doing, but she's doing an amazing job. Does she deserve a raise? <laughs> she did that already today. <laughs> first win for Rob Flynn, first win at Phoenix, fourth overall, second in the last five races. Let's look ahead to the Emily Motor Oil NHRA Gator Nationals, the East Coast opener. If memory serves me right, you smoked the tires in Pomona. You've been down every other time you've attempted to go down the racetrack. Talk about the significance of that race in general, and then the Pep Boys All-Star Top Fuel call out. Something different where we're mixing it up and we're putting the power into the hands of the drivers to decide who they're going to race. The Pomona smoking the tires, that was our fault. We knew what we did wrong. Um, as soon as I backed up, it was a part of what we did as a group. Um, and we, the, the nice part is we knew what we did. So click your wounds, move on. We came here knowing that we would be one of the fastest cars here. We just, we were the fastest at testing and we even toned it down to make sure we get down the track. You know, so we toned it down and we just wanted a to B car, A to B car, A to B car, and, and ran good. Now going to the going to the Gators, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. This NHR is headed in the right direction to call out. Can we bet on the starting line? That's all I want to know. <laughs> I th I, I'm and gonna run that up the chain, and we're gonna ask. But my I I, I would like to. Yeah, no, I, I I'm bringing money. I want to bet. I want to bet other drivers. I want to bet people. I want to have some fun. We need to lighten this thing up and make it fun. There's the quote right there. And as a, as a team owner, though, uh, the Pro Stock Motorcycle Team, Gianna, you, you had some news, I believe, uh, on that. Share it with members of the media. I see Cycle Drag is here, et cetera. What is the story uh, with Gianna? You hired Matt Smith during the off-season, but let us yeah, know about well, that. Gianna had an accident in testing, and she uh, flew off the bike about over the front handlebars. Front forks broke. They were, they out, I think NHRA outlawed those forks, which by right they should. Um, flew over the handlebars at 170 miles an hour and uh, she landed, jumped around, cut herself up and little, you know, banged up. You know, we get to see the other side where people don't get to see and, uh, you know, couldn't move, do all these things. Uh, tough kid. I mean, Jesus Christ. I, I don't know what their mother feeds them, but they're tough as nails. Um, she's been walking around with a fractured foot for a month. And she said, my foot's bothering me. Went to the doctor and they said, yeah, it's fractured. So you're gonna miss Gainesville. So she's in a boot right now. Um, the coolest part is that kid, um, mom and I started really thinking about, do we wanna pull her funding for this pro stock bike? Because you know, it's, it's our daughter. We don't wanna see her get hurt. And uh, you know, it just, uh, she already told me uh, at the end of our conversation, we have a bike, we have a new bike already that we bought. So. We're going racing. And then she also said, you and Jasmine quit, I'll quit. Yeah, so we went, we're going racing. <laughs> there you go. Mike, thank you very much. Congratulations on your win here at the Arizona Nationals. Very popular. Yet, Did you have another question, Josh? Do you know who you're going to call out yet? Uh, no, actually okay. I don't. I, 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 you know, it's going to be fun to be honest with you. Steve and I were talking about it. I asked him, Steve, what do you think? And he goes, uh, he didn't even know it was a call out. So I, I, I think it's gonna be very exciting because uh, I love that NHR is trying to bring something different to the table and, and this is, it's, it's gonna be a deal. If we can bet on the starting line, that's gonna change. <laughs> Mike Salinas, your top field winner at the Arizona Nationals 2022 Wild Horse Pass. Congratulations, Mike, thank you very much.